Hey Scorpio, welcome to the Cosmic Jackal Tarot. I'm your host, thank you for tuning in and welcome to your full moon in Sagittarius reading. So, oh God, there's a lot for me to have to keep over explaining. I really wish I would just do these readings all in one go and just time them. I feel like that would be easier. <clears throat> Maybe one day. All right, so with the full moon being in Sagittarius, what does that mean and how does that affect your Saturn and retrograde reading so saturn and retrograde is going to be a separate reading but to briefly touch base i believe saturn is one of the ruling planets of sagittarius now saturn is a planet all about karma and dark energy and how we embody it what it means for us to like you know take on this this shadow work and what happens when we don't do it you know so with sagittarius they're a sign about balance, about good luck, about just being a free spirit and having really good high energy. Now, a lot of times with Sagittarius on their shadow self, they can be very egotistical, very narcissistic or have narcissistic tendencies. And for them, they don't like to be bored. They always have to keep going, keep going, keep going. They have to keep meeting all these high expectations they have for themselves. And they really don't give two fucks about who, what, about why what they're doing is going to affect another person. They don't, a, a lot of times they don't care until that person leaves or until now they're being presented with a mirror of their own, <clears throat> I want to say injustice, but their own actions and, you know, the consequences of when you do things and you say people won't leave. So... For you, Scorpio, you're very close to Sagittarius on the spectrum of things because you guys are right next to each other. And a lot of times you guys attract each other, but you're, it's more like a fatal attraction. You attract each other into each other's lives because there's things you don't like about yourself that this person probably does and accepts. But the more that you guys sit around each other, the more you realize why you don't get along because there's things about you so yourself and their self that they have to work on then again some of you could have Sagittarius in your chart some of you may be with a Sagittarius right now and you're just trying to figure out like what why why are they the way they are now with this full moon reading understand that this is only probably going to be relevant for you until the new moon so you got a whole cycle of harvesting what you're meant to gain out of this whatever this reading is going to entail for you but I feel for a lot of you Scorpios you are wondering what is my karma what do I have coming to me or what have I earned what have I worked really hard on and now it's time for me to receive the fruits of my labor so let's start off with your moonology manifestation honestly Scorpio transformation is your biggest th thing <clears throat> this is why you come into existence you enable people but you also try to coax them and influence them that they can transform into being something better Limits are always going to be reached one way or another, but you always want to be the person, just like Sagittarius, to coax people into believing that, you know, rules and limitations are meant to be broken. But sometimes you have to work your way up to, like, going past the, these limits and enduring what it means to go past what you think is all you can handle. <clears throat> so you have last quarter moon in Libra. Make time for self-love. I feel like, Scorpio, you spend a lot of time trying to make sure that everybody else has their shit together but what about you you know like it's easy for you to sit and try to think to yourself about why and how somebody else should be doing something that if you were in their shoes you would be doing it but it's time for you to retract and work on the things and focus on the things that you know you don't like about yourself some of you could be feeling like you know oh like my hair is always a mess and I don't have like really nice uh I can't afford really nice products to deal with my hair or my skin or you know I want to try to dabble in the makeup and makeup is expensive some of you could be single parents and you know you're always taking care of your kids some of you could be maybe not even single parents it just feels like you are in charge of you know making sure finances for the house are all right that the that everything in the house is clean that everybody is getting enough to eat like you're a very mothering, nurturing spirit, Scorpio, when you want to be. But there are times where even in your shadow self, you get very beside yourself and you say very harsh things. You do very harsh things. And it's all for the sake of just, in your mind, this is self-care. Showing people how you really feel. But you shouldn't show them how they 
you shouldn't show people how you feel only when you have reached a limit and how much of your own energy you can express outward. If you have an energy leak, then you need to fix it because that can in turn make you an energy vampire. Like you're losing so much of your energy that you are trying to take from everybody else's energy to empower yourself, to acknowledge yourself, to make yourself a validated. Like, you know, that person was ignoring me before, but now that I screamed through them, went through their phone, broke their shit and acted a complete ass and, you know, whatever it is that you do in your dark side, Scorpio, you've gotten to a point where you're like, you know what? But I didn't like how it felt when I did that or I didn't like when that was done to me. I thought it was okay. So I started expressing myself in anger, but that's what I that's what I perceive anger to be. Like you're upset so you hurt somebody else because you're hurt. And Scorpio, that's enough of that. While transformation can be painful, you can't inflict it on other people just because you feel they should change to meet your needs. I'm seeing eleven eleven on the clock. Make a wish. <laughs> Maybe or what I'm saying, it's meant for you to receive. So take that wholeheartedly, not too hard. Just understand what I'm saying. It's okay for you to feel the way that you feel. But you need to communicate it in a more gentle way. Even if you feel you're saying it over and over again. Okay, well, then it's not your fault that you are explaining stuff. But at the same time, it is on you that you keep tolerating the fact that you have to express this. If you're tired of something then leave it alone and then eventually when you are putting energy back into yourself if something is meant for you it has no choice but to keep meeting you halfway versus you keep having to do something out of anger or like having abusive and narcissistic tendencies and in, in in some aspect of things like it's not always going to go the way that you want and it's time for you to accept that like you can't be a complete child or have a hissy fit every time something doesn't work your way and some of you can be very manipulative too like you keep trying to like put the spotlight back on you and then like uh look to this other person that you know because of them you're a victim of your own circumstance like just make sure you're taking accountability for things and understand when it's time to leave you'll know you're done when you're done it's not going to feel like it's any different that day if you've been putting it with something for a long time but if it's something that maybe you're the one that's being gaslit and abused and stuff and you just keep trying to go back and forth doing the same stuff like two wrongs don't make a right and sometimes the only way to win is not to play all right so we're gonna go in with your super attractor card Whoa. all right you already got one <laughs> i trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become my reality You are somebody that is very intuitive, Scorpio. You see things before they happen, but a lot of times you understand that the things that you see and experience solo, not everybody is willing to accept that. You're a sign that's all about truth. You like to see people live their best lives and live to a point where they can be their authentic selves. You know when someone's lying and you know when somebody is not being truthful to themselves you know like i think for you that's harder to watch than it is somebody just lying to you and that's that you know but some people aren't ready to wake up yet scorpio so what this means for you if you can take your attention off other people for a second if you have pure intentions then you have nothing to worry about so if somebody screws you over but you intended a very nice gesture then that's on them that they don't appreciate it but you don't get to go out of your way to be spiteful and get mad at them and try to see vengeance over the fact that they made you feel some type of way no you allowed yourself to feel some type of way all right and maybe it's not a bad thing you react the way you react but you got to ask yourself why do you react to people's injustice why do you react to people who you know they can't help how they are they are who they are and they're not willing to change at least not right now so what you got to ask yourself is why you keep expecting something different when it's always going to be the same if people want to change you got to allow them to do that but when they do something to hurt you and then you do something to hurt them back it doesn't mean that you're right in doing something to hurt them back it means now you stoop down to their level i think you can do better than the flames of hell <laughs> You know, especially when it's somebody else's hell, Scorpio. But a lot of times I feel like you get caught up in the moment and you feel that what's presented towards you is something that you have to deal with right then and there. But not always. Allow yourself 
a moment to heal and breathe and ex accept that this is somebody else's energy and things can be hurtful and we are allowed to cry we are allowed to be angry but sometimes reacting is just showing that you are what this person has advertised you to be like maybe you think that they are a strong person they can change but they think you are this weak-minded person that's always going to do something to validate yourself and in a way they're kind of right but that doesn't mean that's all you are so now i'm not saying all scorpios are like this i definitely don't mean it that way but whoever i'm talking to that happens to have scorpio on their chart or they are a scorpio maybe you're watching for a scorpio i don't care but if you are scorpios just can't help but see the truth that's all they know all right and so when somebody tries to pull the wool over their eyes they're always going to see something is just not right so they're going to bring it up if you can't handle that then you need to leave scorpio alone now back to you scorpio is the same conditions if you cannot handle that people are not willing, willing and ready to be in their truth especially if they know it's something that you believe in they don't want you to see the best parts of themselves because they don't see it for themselves. You see what you see, and it's because you see it in yourself, so you project it on the other people. Then you get disappointed when it doesn't happen accordingly. So with that being said, Scorpio, focus on what you are and who you want to be, and then you're just going to keep attracting more of that. So humble yourself and understand that, yeah, you're on a mission to make the world a better place. But you can also make it quite bitter. <laughs> so take it easy. All right. Everybody has a lot of love for you, Scorpio. But a lot of times you like to retreat in darkness. And sometimes darkness is all you see. Or you keep trying to do something nice and then you get proven wrong. There is no light in the world. But there is. And sometimes it's you that's that light. You just got to see it for yourself. I know you can do it. All right. So with that being said... That is your reading, Scorpio. I love you so much. Love you. If this happened to resonate, make sure to like, share, subscribe, follow, comment down below. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like. Let me know what you want to see more of, what you're expecting. All of it, you know. If for some reason this didn't resonate, that is totally okay. Maybe this is meant for another Scorpio, somebody with Scorpio on their chart. But again, if you are watching for a Scorpio, I don't need to know that ain't none of my business, all right? That's that's between you and the Scorpio, I guess. <laughs> or you and you. Now, if you would like to follow me and stalk me on other forms of social media, my link tree will be down below. And soon after this video is uploaded, I will have my all my links ready for you guys to look into. That being said... Thank you so much for supporting my channel, guys. I cannot believe I'm at 88 subscribers. This is crazy. But um, if I can be a little selfish, I want to, maybe not selfish, but like I'm just really motivated to keep testing my limits. So if I can get 90 subscribers or shoot even 100, because I'm pretty sure I can just go past 90. If I can get up to 100 subscribers, that would be really lit. I want to try something called the tele novel the, the tarot novellas where i do tarot readings and we just improv them and whoever you know this reading works for like we just do something nice together all right so but if i get 500 subscribers i can have a community button and then i'll probably just do live readings from then on and make this even more fun so more interaction is needed i just really if you guys don't mind taking some time out of your day to comment down below and let's have a conversation on how to make this channel better it's not just for me it's for you too you know but if you've been watching since day one since i first made this channel way back when the just in the very beginning of the year thank you dude it's amazing to have this many supporters despite all the transformation and whatnot that i'm doing on myself in my everyday personal life coming back and checking in with you guys makes it every every second of my life worth it i'm this much closer to this becoming another stream of e income so all the support and love that you give me to me my dog and you know my house and what i do man this is better than any money i could ever hope to receive just this feeling alone and i wish i could share that with you all in person maybe one day i'll do meet and greets i don't know let's see where i go <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Take care, and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye.